Now we will solve the problem uh, 5.17 of Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics. The problem 5.17 is a large uh, parallel plate capacitor with uniform surface charge sigma on the top of uh, on the upper plate and minus sigma on the lower uh, is moving with the constant speed V as shown in figure. This problem uh, consists of three parts. Uh, so part A is uh, find the magnetic field between the plates and also above and below them. Uh, first you take the, uh, consider the upper plate, you form a Gaussian surface. It is, uh, I am uh, forming a Gaussian surface. Uh, this length is, uh, let us say this is TL, a small length I am taking. Similarly, Gaussian surface, uh, this is three dimension I am unable to draw below. So uh, let, it, uh, let us take, uh, there is a uh, similar structure. I have taken ampere and loop. This is above and below this plate. Remember that uh, this portion, uh, maybe I will use different color. Uh, that is uh, this portion, uh, bottom of the portion, I have used the red, uh, green color. This green color shows at the bottom. So this is another TL. Let us say this is very small, negligible. So then what will happen? And the total length TL plus another TL, two TL. If we take integral of uh, TL, uh, you will get to two times the length. Now you come to the right hand side. Right hand side, uh, you uh, mu not i enclosed. I have uh, used uh, for i enclosed sigma vl. I will uh, prove that what is sigma vl. Uh, so you know what is sigma? Sigma vl, uh, which is equal to Sigma is equal to char uh, surface charge, that is charge per uh, unit area, Q divided by A. Uh, here, let us say we have a squ uh, square slab. So A will pe pick up L squared. I am using some simple, uh, simple logic to explain this. What is V? V is equal to L by then the total length L. Here this L, uh, this L square will get cancelled. So uh, you will get sigma VL is equal to V capital L is equal to uh, Q by L. Uh, this L uh, already cancelled. So this capital L, 1 over T multiplied by this capital L. This is charge per unit length, and if you divide this by T, you will get current per unit length. Uh, if you multiply this by total length, then you will get the total current, that is I enclosed. So our assumption, uh, not our assumption, our uh, expansion is correct one. Sigma VL gives you the current enclosed. Uh, now you uh, take the left hand, left hand side is P multiplied by 2L. Right hand side you will have mu naught sigma V L. So now with this L, L will get cancelled. This L and this L will get cancelled. So P, uh, that is upwards, upper plate. I mentioned that in the bracket up, uh, UP. Up means upper plate. In the upper plate, P is equal to, you bring this 2 to the uh, right hand side. Uh, mu naught uh, sigma V divided by 2. And then similar is applicable for the lower plate also. Here we are using man, minus sigma. So this will be become minus mu naught sigma V divided by 2. Uh, but uh, we will take only the magnetic field. Because magnetic field is uh, for both the players, magnetic field direction will be the same. That we will see in the next slide. So uh, 
uh, you can take only the magnitude. Don't worry about the because uh, this is moving in the same direction, so it will produce the magnetic field similar to that of the upper plate. I will come to it later. So P is equal to total magnetic field at the middle is uh, magnetic field due to the upper plate plus magnetic field due to the lower plate. You have to add these two. If you add these two, then this will become mu naught sigma v. Uh, that is inside this uh, two plate. The magnetic field inside uh, inside the two plate. Uh, P equal to zero elsewhere. That is above the plate and below the plate. If you form an Amperian loop, current enclosed is zero. So naturally, the magnetic field is zero. Uh, then uh, we will see why it is inverse. Uh, inverse that is a inverse to the paper. Uh, so we will see in the next slide. Uh, next part is find the uh, part we find the magnetic force per unit area on the upper plate, including its uh, direction. So let us uh, take this is the upper plate. I for the explanation purpose, I have. Uh, I have drawn this like uh, a yeah, wire. Let us say this is what wire in which current is moving in positive x direction. Here current is moving in the negative x direction. So according to right hand rule, the magnetic field is uh, will be like this. You can see the upper uh, upper uh, plate. So upper plate uh, that RO is heading towards us. That is. It is represented uh, like uh, head of the arrow. So uh, technically, it is uh, represented as uh, arrow uh, head of the arrow. That is one point. So here you will have a head of the arrow. This is the arrow head. What will happen at the bottom of this plate? Uh, see, you can see arrow is going inwards. So that can be represented as head of the arrow. Like uh, convention way of uh, drawing this is like this. Maybe I will use a uh, different color. So uh, so here uh, in the upper part, you can see uh, this arrow is heading towards us. So, this is the head of the arrow. Uh, then uh, what about the bottom? Bottom is going inwards. Magnetic field is going inwards. That is represented conventionally as tail of the arrow, like this mark. Uh, similarly, you come down to lower plate. In the lower plate, you can see here this arrow is moving inwards. That is uh, tail of the arrow. That is the in, uh, inverse to the paper, this arrow is. What about this arrow? This arrow is heading towards us. That is, this is uh, head and this is tail. Here, this is tail, this is head. If you see at the center, uh, the magnetic field is always towards inside the paper, inside the paper. Here also, due to upper plate also, it is inside the paper. To it, Due to lower uh, plate also, it is inside the uh, paper. So magnetic field is in same direction due to upper plate and lower plate. That is the reason why in previous case we have uh, taken the magnitude alone. So we ignored the neg negative sign of the uh, lower plate. So now after uh, that understanding, we will come to find the magnetic force per unit area of the upper plate. So magnetic field, total magnetic field is capital F, M uh, divided by area, because we need a force per unit area, which I represents small F, M, which is equal to, according to uh, Lorentz force, uh, Lorentz force due to the magnetic field is Q, V, P. Here I have taken the magnetic field due to the lower plate. So I mentioned P lower. 
divided by area because we want to find force per unit area. So QVP divided by A. So uh, Q by A is sigma V now. Sigma V P at lower side. At uh, magnetic field due to lower plate is uh, mu naught sigma V divided by A. We have seen in section A this. And uh, the uh, uh, charge due to the upper uh, upper plate is uh, sigma v that we know we have seen it is sigma v so you multiply uh, uh, force on sigma v that is uh, charge at uh, uh, current at uh, upper plate uh, force due to uh, the current at the upper plate due to uh, the lower uh, plate magnetic field. So sigma v, uh, mu naught sigma v divided by 2. This will become a mu naught sigma squared because here you have sigma 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 squared v into v v squared of course divided by 2. The magnetic field direction is upwards. That is using Fleming's uh, right, left hand rule this is the direction of current. This is uh, H axis direction of current. Uh, then magnetic field is uh, inside the uh, paper. Uh, so naturally the ports will be upside. So I have mentioned this is upwards. Then uh, third question is at uh, what speed we would uh, the magnetic force balances the electric force. Here we have seen the magnetic force, uh, Lorentz force due to magnetic field. Uh, similarly, uh, what is Lorentz force due to uh, electric field? Uh, that is total uh, force due to electric field, capital F E. Uh, per, we are going to find to per unit area, so divide by A, so which is equal to small f E sub E. Now, according to Lorentz uh, force law, it is force due to electric field is uh, Q, uh, Q into E. So uh, now force per unit area is Q divided by A into E lower side. Because we are going to find force between them. Force on um, upper plate due to lower one. So uh, you know Q is equal to, uh, Q by A is equal to sigma. And uh, the electric field at the lower side uh, we have seen due to ampere law, it is equal to sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. We have seen this um, so many times. So uh, the electric field uh, due to the long uh, plate is equal to uh, sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught. So this will become uh, sigma squared divided by 2 epsilon because sigma sigma. Now you compare this and this. When electric field is equal to magnetic field is equal to electric field, what will happen? That is mu naught sigma squared v squared divided by 2 is equal to sigma squared uh, divided by 2 epsilon naught. Uh, here uh, we, have, uh, we can cancel some common term. Uh, that is uh, here 2, 2 will get cancelled. Uh, then uh, sigma squared will get cancelled with sigma squared. Then you bring uh, mu naught here. So this will become mu naught epsilon naught. Then what is V? You just uh, take the square root. So V is equal to 1 over square root of epsilon naught mu naught, which is nothing but velocity of light. So it is uh, very difficult to uh, achieve the speed of uh, light. So Naturally, the electric field will get dominant. This is uh, practically uh, not uh, possible. So uh, this is about uh, section P. That is at what speed would magnetic force uh, balances the electric force. When this uh, moves with the velocity of light only, both will be same, which is very difficult. So thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.